This is an unboxing video of two accessories for a telescope. And uh, one of them is a click butter. Butter means in Germany the company butter. B A A D A R butter. Uh, click lock uh, extension for the Schmidt Cassie grains. And uh, another one is a two inch uh, click lock uh, diagonal. And I bought it from the first optics telescope. And we are now going to unbox it. Uh, and since I needed two hands, I had to cut it with this knife first, then go and open it. Oh, okay, I see this kind of uh, polystyrene fillers here. And uh, what is inside is this one. The first one is a click lunch, uh, click lock. Uh, a Schmidt Cassegrain clamp, butter two inch. Okay, that's a two inch one. And what is inside the other one? There's another box here. Okay, this is the butter two inch click lock star diagonal. So Two products from the butter and I'm going to open them now. Okay, there is nothing else inside here, so I'm just removing that. Okay, we are now having this uh, two products from the butter, the best uh, products. And uh, now I'm going to open them. I'm going first for the click lock uh, Schmidt Cassegrain clamp. That is the attachment that you attach other things for two inch uh, uh, um, devices to the back of your telescope. If it is a Schmidt Cassegrain, two inch means that you will have a bigger amount of light entering your eyepiece, and of course, you have a more comfort to watch whatever you're watching in the sky. So, really chunky product, and I like the way that they have made it with this. Uh, kind of clamp easy so you loosen this up and then instead of uh, using the screws to um, tighten up the whatever eyepiece or diagonal just turn it and it will lock then you can un un um, unlock it by just turn it opposite direction very good accessories it's just strange that we have to buy all of this separate when they actually should come with any equipment that you buy anyway that's the way it is in the telescope fields. You have to buy a lot of accessories that look obviously you need for your work. But they don't put them in the, in the product they sell you. Okay, at the moment I cannot remove it. When I turn this this way, there are two parts here. This will unlock this uh, cap. And I will unturn it now and you can see. Okay, I've unturned it now. It easily comes up. Now if I turn it again, that will be locked. So this will happen again to your eyepiece or a star diagonal, easily kept in place. Um, when you work in the dark, you may actually lose the screws of your clamps. And with this one, there is not such a chance, such a unfortunate, you know, uh, incident happening. Okay, the second product that I'm going to open is this other diagonal. And as you can see, it comes in its own uh, leather bag. Quite chunky and heavy. Uh, what is inside it? Yeah, just box, nothing else. And uh, this is made, by the way, butter. You know, butter planetarium in in Germany, very famous uh, in astronomical institution from the olden times, in the 19th century up to now. So the diagonal is inside this lovely leather bag. The leather is really, really good quality. I can see it's leather. I can feel it. Very nice uh, feeling. Oh, look at this chunky diagonal. It's huge, massive. <laughs> so, uh, this is the telescope, and this will go into this clamp or whatever you can also 
put between them and then you have a click lock in this side of it and this click lock uh, will hold your eyepiece so uh, one click lock already is here if you are now looking inside the uh, this uh, diagonal I see some dust specks I'm not sure what are they are they there uh, some, some specks like paint or something are they anyway I would test it just to see if I can blow it with the blower if they were not uh, blown away I must see what I can do uh, maybe returning it let me see the only thing I just wanted to show you is the mechanism for this clicker uh, click lock what you see here is a ring around here. When I turn it, the distance, the gap between these two parts of the ring will increase or decrease. Look at how, what's the distance now, and I will turn it, you will see. Okay, as you can see, I've turned it, now the gap became smaller. So that's the way it keeps things in place. And I wonder, is this material is magnetic also? Uh, anyway, it looks quite chunky and interesting. My only worry is that, is this uh, dust specks uh, fault in the mirror there or uh, they can be blown away by a blower. I'm going to test that. Now I have this blower and I have this brush. I will try to try to see if I can blow it to uh, blow the dust by the blower without touching actually with the brush. But anyway, we will see. Okay, I have been able to blow them away, so that is good news. So these are just dust particles that uh, from the manufacturing process were left there. And I'm going now to completely clean it by the blowing the air. Overall, impressive, chunky diagonal. I have another diagonal I'll show you to compare with this. Okay, this is the two inch diagonal butter, planetarium butter. And this one is the Skywatcher um, yeah, um, Star Diagonal for the 102 Star Traveler uh, um, Refractor Telescope. So it's quite better than the other ones. For example, you see that this kind of uh, color, bronzy color it has here, uh, bronzy finish. and. I can say this is better quality than the rest of the things that I have seen on the telescopes. But this bother one is, is really something else in another class. I put them side by side, you can compare. And that uh, click lock worth every penny of it if it saves your heavy um, eyepieces. I'll put one eyepiece there just to show you. Okay, this is my Max Vision. Um, two-inch uh, barrel diagonal as you can see quite chunky the size of bigger than a drink can and I'm going to put it in this and you can see how it will hold it this is around half a kilo or more in weight so I'm sliding this into this and you can see for yourself really good size compared that with the other diagonal i'll put the flash on back so you can see actually how it is okay i'll put the flash back and uh, i will now turn this uh, click lock uh, um, attachment and we'll uh, make sure that the eyepiece is secure in its place yes quite easy i just turned it and now the eyepiece is completely secure if it was two screws, it was already the first thing we'll do is scratch my eyepiece. The barrel of my eyepiece will be scratched. Then I will go after other things. And you can see I, I need to clean my eyepiece also. But anyway, that's what you see through the eyepiece. Good, impressive. 